Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at some new tailor-made drivers that have just been released. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the tailor-made drivers that have just been released. And in my next video, I have some kind of secretive leaked photos of some possible new tailor-made drivers coming in a few months time or early next year. So let's dive straight in and take a look. So a few weeks ago, or maybe about a week ago, uh, some pictures started circling around. I'll throw them up on the screen for you guys now. Take a look at these. So first of all, we have this kind of photo of this new TaylorMade 300 Mini driver. Now, since these photos came out, we have a lot more photos to take a look at and a lot more information about this product, which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything you need to know in this video, including price, uh, looks, um, technology in it, everything you need to know and when it's going to come out and when it's going to retail. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So let's dive straight in. So first of all, TaylorMade 300 mini driver. Let's just take a first look at these photos. So it kind of, obviously it's a mini driver that kind of goes without saying. We can see in this photo, it's 13.5 degrees. Um, it is an adjustable loft sleeve as well. And if we take a look at the next photo, we have a carbon crown, really black kind of matte carbon crown, really like the look of that. And in the next photo, we can see the top with that kind of, we have a more old school kind of, kind of looking titanium-ish face, silvery face. So kind of a bit modern blended with some old school looks. Now I'm gonna be telling you why that is, where what this driver kind of concept is all about in a second. But first of all, let's throw some actual recent images up on the screen to show you guys a bit more of what this driver looks like. Let's take a look at this one. This is a really good look at it. And obviously this looks a lot better than the kind of crappy leaked images we just took a look at. So, you know, what do you guys think of this? Comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on your first, first kind of thoughts on the aesthetics of this driver. Uh, to me, it definitely, you can see that like blend of old and new, uh, kind of old school looks with a bit of new technology. You can see that carbon fiber on the bottom, but you can see that kind of titanium, uh, kind of silverish look, kind of old school, even a little bit old school in the text. We can see there's a weight back um, in their driver head. So it's kind of a bit of a contrast between you know, old school looks and modern aesthetics. Now, why is that? So let's dive into the story of this driver. So 20 years ago, TaylorMade released a kind of revolutionary new family of drivers, uh, which were called the 300 series. Now this is before my time. I was very young at this point. So this is really before my time in the golf industry, but some of you might out there remember this. Um, so as part of the release, there were three uh, driver heads that they released. Um, there was the 300 Ti, 320 Ti, and 360 Ti. Now why was this kind of revolutionary? This was kind of significant because basically at that time when you were releasing a driver, most manufacturers only came out with one driver head. Um, you know, this is before the days of where we had draw type drivers or adjustable weighting and those types of things. So that was really uncommon at the time. And also m most drivers at the time didn't really go up to 360 degrees. They were a bit smaller, a bit smaller in the overall head shape, more around that 300, 320 mark. But as we kind of know now through modern golf club fitting and everything, not one driver fits all. You know, people swing the club differently. People need different equipment, which will perform differently for them to get the best results. So while most current day drivers measure a USG maximum 460 cc, that's now kind of universally accepted. Most people are using 460 cc drivers because it's gonna give you max distance, max forgiveness. Um, you know, driver manufacturers back then would not provide different driver head shapes. So this is where this driver concept came from. Now let's take a look at another image. Let's flip over and take a look at a uh, look from the top. This is, and I have to say, in this photo it looks beautiful from the top. Comment down below again what you think of the looks of this driver, what are you most excited for? Um, it definitely has quite a specific 
consumer. I wouldn't say it's like a mass market product. I wouldn't say it's for everyone and we will be diving into that a little bit more later. So also make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and also comment your thoughts down below. I reply to all of your comments guys. So first of all, yeah, top of this driver, we've got that matte black carbon fiber crown. We have that thin black kind of uh, bezel around the edge there, which looks really, really nice. Look, look at that. Um, we do have the contrast of that like silver titanium looking face. Uh, not sure, you know, it, I don't know. It looks a little bit odd. I can see like, obviously, we've just talked about where the concept came from and they wanted it to be more old school looking. It just, I think after we've had these driver faces, these modern driver faces for so long, going back to like a titanium face does look pretty old fashioned. I also felt like maybe titanium faces, they kind of age not quite as well. I don't know if that makes sense, but like they kind of, to me in my mind, they can dull a bit quicker. They can get maybe scratched up a bit quicker. And so, I don't know, maybe that's something to bear in mind. But definitely you can see that contrast of what they're going for with that modern technology, modern looks blended with that old school kind of story and history of this product. Now let's take a look at a closer look at that driver face. Let's throw this up on the screen for you guys. This is obviously the front of the driver face. Now first of all you can see the hosel is adjustable, it's an adjustable hosel. Now the next thing you can see if you take a closer look at this driver face is it has twist face even though it's looks like a uh, it looks like an old school titanium face it actually has modern technology it has twist face on it and I'd love to know guys what your thoughts are on twist face cuz I know it divides opinion a little bit if you're a fan of it comment down below if you don't like it also comment down below and let me know now let's dive into a little bit more of the story and the technology of this driver. So TaylorMade kind of revolutionized the driver market by bringing out different head shapes, different sizes, and those sorts of things, which obviously pretty much all manufacturers do now as well. And by offering differences in CG, lie angles, lofts, all those sorts of things to suit different players. So, you know, that's where this 300 name came from. Uh, so the 300 mini driver, it's a club designed to give players a different option than what's considered a standard. And that's exactly what I mean by it's not really a mass market product. Uh, the overall looks of the new mini driver is a clear homage to the original. We first saw the 300 mini driver in a prototype version at the 2020 US Open, which was being used by Phil Mickelson, who does quite like a mini driver. Um, I would like to know why Phil likes a mini driver. It would be interesting to find out his opinion on it, but apparently he's not the only one who's been using this, um, well, who's been testing it out. Dustin Johnson and a few others too have also been kind of testing it out. I don't think they put it in the bag. I, I think it would be very, very unlikely for them to put it in the bag. So, but the now TaylorMade have officially launched it and are bringing it to retail for you guys. So, it's not made for maximum possible distance. That's the first thing you need to know about this product. If you want to hit the ball as far as possible, get a normal bigger driver. 460 cc's, get a custom fit, get that weighting dialed in. If you want the most, uh, yeah, the most distance and the largest size head, that's definitely the best way to go. And it's also gonna give you greater forgiveness. But, and also if you want to hit this driver, if you want to hit something off the fairways, you know, get a hybrid or get a fairway wood. But this driver kind of fits in in between those two. Obviously we can see it has no adjustable weighting but it fits in in between the gap of like a three wood hybrid and a driver. So it's made basically, uh, so it occupies the space between, it's designed for distance and speed with its smaller head shape of 307 cc's. Interestingly, it's not 300 cc's, 307, but obviously they're not gonna call it the 307 mini driver. Um, so smaller head shape, 307 cc's and shorter length, 43.75 inches, it provides more control than your typical modern driver and more distance than a fairway wood or a hybrid. So it fits in that gap. 
And, you know, even though it's not for everyone, there are going to be some people that might benefit from this, depending on how you hit the golf ball. So this is a quote from TaylorMade. It's been 20 years since we last made a metal with this size. This is from Tomo Bysteddeth. I have no idea what, how to pronounce that name. TaylorMade's director of product creation for Metal Woods and Irons. It was only natural to call it a 300 mini driver to acknowledge what the 300 series meant to our brand and the game. We blended the throwback look with modern carbon, titanium and steel construction to produce a club that speaks to TaylorMade loyalists while delivering distance from a tee and fairway. Uh, boosting the nostalgia factor of this 300 club, the new 300 Mini Driver has strong aesthetic similarities to the original 300 series release. However, the new Mini Driver version is stacked with many of TaylorMade's modern driver technologies to increase performance, such as twist face, a multi-material head construction, a uh, through-slot speed pocket, V-steel sole for better turf interaction, and an adjustable loft sieve. So this driver is packed full of technology, modern technology, a lot of which you would see in pretty much the, you know, the TaylorMade Sim 2 drivers, for example. Um, the, uh, uh, but except for you wouldn't see the V-Steel sole, that would kind of come from the three wood, which again is where this driver comes into its blended between like the three wood and the driver. Uh, the 300 mini driver may measure around the same size as the smallest model from the original 300 series and have a reminiscent look, but there's also 20 years of technology improvements pumped into the new heads. And guys, I don't think it can be understated how important that driver release was the original 300 uh, drivers from TaylorMade because that has kind of really shaped the game of modern driver technology in terms of bringing out different head sizes, different head shapes, different options basically for all of us. That's kind of shaped the consumer marketplace. Um, from a design perspective, the 300 mini driver has a lightweight carbon crown, an ultra thin titanium face, and a uh, 54 gram V steel sole plate in the bottom. So this driver, according to TaylorMade, is built for low with low CG to achieve high launch and low spin. Not surprising there, that is pretty much the story with most fairway woods and kind of drivers nowadays. Um, but the, uh, the mass in the sole plate is distributed from front to back in a way that helps the ball launch higher off the turf and produce more forgiveness. Since the 307cc head is larger, and has a deeper face than a typical three wood, the launch assistant uh, could come in handy for those planning to use this as an option off the deck. Um, and by the way, guys, let me know if you did, are you interested in getting this driver? And if you are interested in it, would you be using it just off the tee or would you be using it just off the turf as well? Um, we find kind of both of those. For me, I don't know many golfers who would be good enough to hit this off the deck, even though it's going to be easier than hitting a normal driver off the deck. I still think it's going to be difficult. I mean, if I can get my hands on one and do some driver off the deck action for you guys, I absolutely will. But I just can't imagine it's, you know, for most people, driver off the deck's a very difficult shot even for the best golfers in the world. So I can't imagine this being that much easier, but we'll see. I mean, it does have that V-Steel sole, it does have that lower CG, so maybe. The new 300 mini series driver, so this becomes available to you guys for retail on July 16th, so pretty much this week. And uh, it will come in a stock shaft with a Mitsubishi uh, MIDI Proto shaft. Other shaft options are available and a Golf Pride Z grip. The loft options are 11.5 degrees in both righty and lefty and 13.5 degrees for right handers only. And if I was getting this driver, I would probably be getting it in the max loft in 13.5 degrees. I'm um, not sure why. 
I'm not. I'm a bit confused by the lofts actually because, yeah, that's eleven point five degrees. As you would think, they'd want the thirteen point five degrees for both right-handers and left-handers. Maybe the eleven point five for only right-handers. But because eleven point five, I mean, that would be on the high side for a driver, but still not that high. Thirteen point five is obviously more creeping into three with territory kind of from 14 degrees up would be really through territory, 15 degrees is standard. Now what price will this driver be coming out at guys? So it will sell for $399. So, you know, that's not cheap. That is not cheap. That's pretty close to a full size driver. Um, you know, not far off at all. And, you know, what do you guys think of that? Should it be cheaper? Should it, is that the right pricing for it? I guess it is a driver at the end of the day, and it does have a lot of technology in it. Clearly, a lot of effort has gone into the looks and production of this product. Guys, let me know what you think of that down below. I would recommend trying it out if you struggle hitting driver, and if you, if you, I would say this product is probably going to suit the people most who struggle with a full size driver but are quite good with a three wood. In my mind, that's where this product fits in quite well because it is more similar to a three wood than it is a driver. If you're good with a driver, I don't know why you would have this in the bag um, if you're good with a driver anyway because I can't imagine you're gonna be hitting it off the deck that often, but if you're really good with a three wood, this could be a good option off the tee and you might be better off with it, or you might be better with it off the deck as well if you are really good at hitting a three wood off the deck. That would be my personal advice. That's what I would assume for this product. But hopefully I'll be able to get it to test it out at some point. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you think of this. I really want to get your thoughts on this. I reply to all of your comments. Give this video a like as well. Subscribe. I bring you guys all the latest golf news and we take a look at some of the best swings in the world. We just did Phil Mickelson a few weeks ago, so check out that video on my channel. And yeah, like it, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, guys, grip it and rip it. And make sure you stay tuned for my next video, which is featuring some kind of leaked images of some possible upcoming tailor-made drivers. So stay tuned for that, guys.